Hey, Tony Kager here. I'm going to try to make a quick SummerSlam preview video. WWE SummerSlam is tomorrow night at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. And I got all the matches here. I'm going to give you my preview for every match. And maybe talk, talk a little bit about the preview at the end of um, this video. So, first match, the pre-show video, pre-show match. And shout out to 7 WWE Rocks for mentioning that this match is added to the card. Because I would have um, for, missed this match. It's about I was about to make this video, and I didn't know about this match. And Seven WWE Rocks, he's on YouTube. He uh, mentioned it in his latest YouTube video. So thank thank you for um, mentioning it. So again, okay, add that match to this video. So Rob Van Dam versus Cesaro. Um, kind of random match. Seems like this is a pre-show match. Cause I don't remember. I don't know. Like I don't, know, I don't remember Rob Van Dam and Cesaro feuding or anything. Maybe they have, I just missed it or something. But, um, seems like a random match. There's no story to this match. Good thing it's in the pre-show because it would make sense to put it in the main card. But it should be an okay match. Um, both of them have been losing a lot. Rob Van Dam and Cesaro. So I was like, who do you pick? Um, oh man. Yeah, this is a tough one. I'm gonna just go, um, I'll go Rob Van Dam because he's the baby face and Cesaro's been losing a lot, so maybe, I don't know. What, I can't pick Cesaro unless he actually wins a match. You know, I, I haven't really noticed that Cesaro's been losing a lot. I just started noticing now that he hasn't won in a while. So, until he actually wins something, I'm going to go again, pick him. Just go with Rob Van Dam in this match. Okay, let's go to the main card. Eight matches. Here we go. First match on my list here, I got Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz. It's going to be for the United States Championship. Right, or is it for the Intercontinental Championship? I think it's for the Intercontinental Championship. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's for the Intercontinental Championship. I can't, I can't, I forget. I think Sheamus is the United States Champion, right? Yeah, I think I think that's right. Uh, those championships are, are so like meaningless right now. I really have to think for a second. You know, think about who is the champion right now because it's hard, it's not as easy to remember anymore. But yeah, so the Miz is the Intercontinental Champion. This will be a title will be on the line this match, and um, it's a tough one. I want Ziggler to win. I, I want to pick Ziggler, but I don't know. Maybe it's too early for the Miz to drop it here. And I feel like WWE likes the Miz more than like Dolph Ziggler. So I think the Miz is a safe pick here. I'll go with the Miz. Should be a good match. Should be, I don't think it's gonna be great or anything, but good to see D Dolph Ziggler on this card. Really big Dolph Ziggler fan. I think this is his ch chance. You know, big, big night Summer Slam. He can. May not get him a lot of time, but this is a chance for like, really have a good match. If he has a really good match here, maybe even like maybe not steal the show, but put a really good performance. He can get back into the title hunt. Maybe make um change WWE's minds and make people look at him as, as a main event guy again. Hope so. Hope he has a great performance. Really like gets people attention. Uh, next match I wrote down. I put I didn't put his name in particular order. I just ranked it from low to, to best. So I put AJ Lee versus Page. And I'm not knocking this match at all. I, I know I put this like low on my list. But this should be a really good match, actually. AJ Lee versus Page. I just think it's not really a main event match. It's more like a mid card match. But, um, yeah, I saw their match at Battleground. Wasn't too impressed, but this should be a much better match. Thing. They got, the story looks pretty good. It, they actually got some time to like build their story. This whole like um, Page being AJ's friend, but at the same time, he's she's her, his, her enemy. They, I think they called her a, fr a fr frenemy or something, or... Uh, like they combine the word friend and enemy. And Paige is clearly a heel. Paige is a heel now. AJ is a face. Um, I'm going to go with AJ winning his match. Retain, retain her title. Uh, a lot of people are breaking Paige to win this match. And then they're going to head to rematch at Night Champion. Um, I'm just, I can see Paige winning. I'm just going to go with AJ. I feel that's a safer pick. They need more baby faces. I don't think there's going to be a lot of heels winning t t tomorrow night. So... I feel like AD's a good pick. He needs some baby faces to win. Uh, Rusev versus Swagger's next on my list. I'm excited for this match. I feel like it's a really good feud. It's like USA versus um, versus Russia, with Jack Swagger being representing USA and Rusev representing Russia. And um, God, I really think that um, I want, I'm a fan of Rusev. I like him a lot. You know, I like. I'm not really a fan of Rusev. I'm a fan of like, I I want WWE to finally push one of those monster heels, 
because they try to push um, Ryback and it didn't work out. They try to push Vladimir Kozlov and it didn't work out. So I, I finally want to see one of these heels actually get pushed to the top. Finally, have to get to the main event level. And finally, have to win a, an important title. Because, like, maybe, I think Vladimir Kozlov may want to take him. Champs with Santino, maybe. Ryback's never won anything, I don't think. So I want to see Rusa win something. I hope he, hope he actually wins the title someday. I wouldn't mind seeing that. But this match, uh, I want to pick Rusa, but I, I think I think Swagger's going to win. Because so I'm hearing that um, it's going to be a flag match. And I'm hearing that WWE's, like, would be okay with Swagger winning his match as long as, like, Swagger doesn't pin Rusa, as long as, like, Swagger wins. Like, I don't, we all know the rules about this flag match, but I guess the rules is, like, whoever gets their flag wins. So, so Swagger winning via getting the flag is better than Swagger winning via the pin. And to make Rusev look that weak. So even though Rusev would lose his first match. This wouldn't even be his first loss. He, cause he's lost before. Because I think he lost by disqualification at one time. Or I don't know. He's lost before I think. But he's never been pinned. So as long as they keep that streak intact that's fine. So I'm going to pick Swagger Wings. Because I th not that Swagger needs to win. But because they did this whole USA versus Russia feud now. It's like USA has to win. Or uh, they can't have Russia like, go over in this feud. Especially just being SummerSlam, though. Sorry to say it, but I had to say it's Jack Swagger. I think he's going to win. Okay, next match I got Chris Jericho versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, just like AJ Lee versus Paige, I was impressed with this match at Battleground last month. It was, a, it was I don't know. I, don't know, I, I got to watch it again maybe someday, but I didn't think it was that great. I know Jericho s s talked about his, on his podcast about this match. And he said he loved it. And he said he watched it back and he thought it was great. And uh, maybe just being biased. But um, I, when I was watching the match, I didn't think it was that great at all. But maybe I see it again. Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, but this match, Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho. I'm going to say Bray Wyatt. It should, he should win this match. There's no reason why he shouldn't win. Especially since Chris Jericho likes putting guys over. And I think it's almost a guarantee that Bray Wyatt wins this match. But then again, I thought Bray Wyatt was going to win last month. But I think for sure he's going to win this month. So Bray Wyatt. And hopefully he wins it clean. If he wins it like some kind of like dirty way with like interference or like the runs by the Wyatt family. And it's like, you know, so what he wins. He's, it's, it looks cheap. He needs to win clean. That's that's big. If he cleanly puts Jer if he cleanly gets beats Jericho and you know Jericho puts him over like cleanly, then that's a good win for Bray Wyatt. You know, at SummerSlam. So I think Bray Wyatt won it last year. Some some against came, but I'm pretty sure the Wyatt family, you know, interfered in that match. Okay, next match I got. I got four matches to go. I'm already like eight minutes in. Wow. Okay. So these are gonna be the, these next four matches. They're gonna be the good main event matches. I'm impressed. So I'm just this year has you know put four really big matches. And some of these the mid card matches are pretty good too. I mean Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt. I mean that would be a main event match on our card. AJ Lee versus Paige, that's, that could be one of the best Divas matches of the year. You know, so some good, like, undercard matches on this pay-per-view. But here are the main event matches. First off, I got here, Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton. Um, I don't love this matchup that much. It could be a, it could be a bad match. It could be disappointing. And I would have rather seen um, Triple H versus Roman Reigns. But I can kind of see why um, they didn't do that match for two reasons. One, I think Triple H... Um, Knew like um if he, he has Triple H versus Roman Reigns in this pay per view, it best to be like the fourth or their best match of the pay per view, and that's not, you know as for Triple H would say best for business. Triple H wants to be, if not the um this if not the first best match of the night, at least the second best match. So for him to be the third or fourth, that would be unacceptable, unacceptable for Triple H. So I can see why he wouldn't want to be um you know have his match SummerSlam. But another reason why. We're not seeing Triple H versus Roman Reigns in this pay per view. I think it's because, you know, we need to see how Roman Reigns does a singles match first before we get excited about Triple H versus Roman Reigns because we haven't seen Roman Reigns in a singles match yet. I mean, we've seen single matches on Raw and SmackDown and main event and uh, maybe Superstars. I don't know if he's been on Superstars, but a pay per view singles match. I, I got this one research. I didn't, I didn't research it, but I'm I'm sure that um, every time. Roman Reigns has been a match of pair views. It's been like a tag team match with Steph Rollins or a free man tag with the Shield or, you know, last month was a fail four-way. The month for that, he was in a ladder match with like five other guys. 
So he's never had a one-on-one -on -one match on pay-per-view before. None, none that I can remember. So this will be his first one on pay-per-view. So I'm really excited to see what he can do. Because it's easy for him to be protected in a tag team match or a fatal four-way match. You know, he can just be a sideline for most of the match and come in, do his Superman punch, do his spear, do his um, drop kick, drop kick on, the on the apron. You know, I think only his three moves. So he has some own drop, I think, too. So finally, he'll, he's going to be... Um, I mean, he's had singles matches if you want to raw, but you know, it's going to be a pay-per-view match. He's going to get, get about 20 minutes. If not 20 minutes, maybe 15, but it's going to get a good amount of time. So Roman Reigns, you know, he's going to have to prove himself, and it's going to be like hit or miss for him. And really, it could either make his career really good, if he has a really good match against Randy Orton, or if he does really bad, you know, that could that could be bad for Roman Reigns. So it's a really important match. The match I'm definitely going to watch. I'm really excited about this match to see. Um, I don't like the matchup. I don't think Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns doesn't seem like a good match to me, especially since I've seen it a couple times and I wasn't too impressed. But just see how Roman Reigns does in his first big singles match. I got, that's got me really interested in this match. So here we go. Okay, now we're in the top three matches. And, you know, I'm just, my third top match is going to surprise you. That may not be the match you're thinking of. I got Steph Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. You know, some people think this is the best match of the night. Maybe. I, I put it as number three. Um, this match, first of all, the, this is going to be a Lumberjack match, and I think it's a Lumberjack match. Um, that right there hurts this match a little bit, because cause I, it's like, name one, like, really good Lumberjack match. It's like, you can't, you can't really name one. It's been, some that have been, you know, enjoyable, but there's never been a classic, like, five-star Lumberjack match. I can't, you can't na name one. You can maybe name a couple that were, like, good, but none of them were, like, really, like, famous. None of them, like, classic matches that, like, you know... Everybody knows about. So the fact this is a lumberjack match that hurts us a little bit, but who knows? Maybe Steph Rollins and Dean Ambrose can like be the first um, two guys to ever have a great lumberjack match. Maybe like they're gonna they're gonna be the pioneers. They're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna be known for the, um, it's gonna be known as the first um, great lumberjack match. We'll see. So, but I'm not a fan of the stipulation. But uh, um, this match I don't know. Feels like they um. Storyline hasn't been that great lately. It feels like um, it's taking a backseat to um, the, the um, other. It feels like Brie Bella, the, the Brie Stephanie storyline, the Lesnar Cena storyline has been. It's got much more um, attention on Raw than Rollins versus Ambrose. But I'm still excited about this match. I think this could be. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be the best match of the night, but this is a match I'm excited for. Really excited for. It's because, you know, here we got these two guys that no one. Um, even knew about two years ago. Maybe they've heard of them, but they were on the active roster yet. I don't think two years ago. So I, I think they didn't come until like near the end of 2012. So they've been in W for almost two years, but not quite. So here we go. They've only been in W for um, less than two years, and already they're, they're on a huge match of you know SummerSlam, one of the biggest pay per views of the, of the year. So and, and and they have a good chance of stealing the show. They you know I'm not sure they will, but it wouldn't shock me if they do have the best match of the night. A lot of people think they will have the best match of the night. So I'm really excited for this match. And um, my prediction, I gotta go with um, Steph Rollins. That's not really a tough prediction for me. I think Steph Rollins gonna win this match because he got the briefcase. And I don't know. I don't know if uh, WWE even likes Dean Ambrose that much in this so far. Because it feels like they're pushing Steph Rollins more than Dean Ambrose. But we'll see. I think St Steph Rollins is a safe pick in this match. Okay. And, uh, next match I got here. Okay, it's, it's going to be my second biggest match of the night, believe it or not. You know, because um, WWE's really been promoting this match. They made it in a Raw two weeks in a row. I'm talking about Brie Bell versus Stephanie McMahon. And she could be one of the best Divas matches we've seen in a long time. Because it's a man, because this is why, you know, it's a match with McMahon. And any, every, any time a McMahon is in a match, the chance of it being good, like, increases, like, way it, Huge increase of a chance of um, it being a good match with McMahon's in it, whether it be Shane McMahon or Vince McMahon or Stephanie McMahon, because they're um, great entertainers. They know how to work, and also I think it's because you know Stephanie McMahon. She's not gonna want her match to be the worst match of the night or one of the worst matches tonight. So she's gonna like really, really, you know, make sure um, everything's planned out for this match. She wants to make sure it's a good match. They're not gonna like um, give a half-ass effort in this match. They're gonna, she's gonna. You know, try her best to make this the match of the night. 
because she does not want to look bad. So I think, you know, and that, I mean, she, it's going to be a good match, but I think um, the efforts can be there. They're going to try their best to make this a good match. I think, you know, there's a good chance this will be a good match. And I'm actually really excited about this match because it may not be the, may not be a five-star classic, but I think at worst it will be entertaining and enjoyable and fun to watch. And um, so who might, who, what's my prediction for this match? Uh, it's a tough one, but I want to say Stephanie McMahon. And that's not because I feel like, oh, Stephanie McMahon, she want, she's not going to like do the job to rebound. She's going to want to put her stuff over. I think it's just because um, I don't think this is going to be the only time. I don't think this, this feud is going to end at SummerSlam. I think it's going to continue. I think the best way to continue this feud is having Stephanie win here. And maybe um, maybe Nikki um, turns heel or something. But, you know, this match looks very, like, um, one-sided. So, you know, Brie Bell's a wrestler, Stephanie isn't. So, you know, Stephanie has something planned that's going to, like, even the odds. You know, like, you look at, um, makes me think of John Cena versus John Laurinaitis. It was a couple years ago, I think, where, you know, Cena was a huge favorite to beat John Laurinaitis. But then, like, Laurinaitis had a plan B. He had the Big Show come out, and the Big Show, like, you know, you know, punch Cena. Or, I forget what he does, but Laurinaitis won that match. Usually, like, um, yeah, so shit. Stephanie has a plan, I think. And it wouldn't be surprised if Stephanie wins this match. I'm going to say she does win. It's close. I mean, I can, I can see Brie winning, too. I'm not guaranteeing Stephanie's going to win, but I think Stephanie's going to win here. I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be Brie Bella. But I'm going to say Stephanie. And, you know, remember, Triple H and CM Punk had a big match a couple years ago, three years ago. And everybody thought CM Punk was going to win that match, but Triple H won. So you can never trust the, uh, these uh, McMahon family. You know, Stephanie could go over. Wouldn't surprise me. And now the main event. Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. You know, maybe the biggest match of the year. Maybe the biggest match in a long time because, you know, this is a match that people, I think, they care about this match, but they, they care more about the finish. Because really, if, if John Cena wins this match... It's going to be chaos, for real. I mean, people have been bitching and moaning about Cena for a while now, but he somehow wins his match and defeats John, defeats Brock Lesnar. I mean, the, the internet is going to explode, for real. I mean, they're going to, like, they're going to be, I don't know, I can't even describe it, what's going to happen if John Cena wins his match. I think Brock Lesnar has to win his match. And maybe he doesn't win clean. Maybe he wins some kind of screwy fashion. But however he wins, Brock Lesnar has to win because people still aren't forgiven. I don't think there's some people who still aren't forgiven WWE for having Cena beat Brock Lesnar um, two years ago at Extreme Rules in Chicago. And they had an Extreme Rules match at Extreme Rules 2012 and John Cena won. People were pissed about that and then they'll really be pissed if, if um, Lesnar wins this, if Cena wins this match. Uh, so my prediction is um, Brock Lesnar, and he will win the title. So, so that's my um, predictions. And I love so I I like this card a lot. I think SummerSlam is gonna be a great pay per view. I love how finally um, is a pay per view where every match is great. They they put some matches that are like, I, I mean I don't know if, if Ziggler versus The Miz is a SummerSlam match. It's, I don't know if it's wordy of SummerSlam, but they, they try to put together a good story. And I think it should be a good match. But I'm more excited about Ziggler being on the card than this whole Ziggler versus Miz viewed. But that being like your worst match, that's pretty good. Because some of these storylines are great. And storylines have been going on for like, not weeks, but like months. Especially uh, Brie Bell versus Stephanie Man, that storyline's been going on for a while. It's all the way back um, be before payback in June. And you got Lesnar and Cena. How long has that been storyline been going on? Since like 2002. You know, when the both guys um, entered the company. And even like Roman Reigns and Orton. You know, they've had, you know, you know um, Shield versus Evolution. So they've had been feuding for a while. So a lot of these matches, you know, Rusev and Swagger have been feuding for uh, more than a few weeks now. So a lot of these matches, you know, they've been feuding for a while, so that's good. My only complaint is that they, for some reason, like, Goldust and Stardust are not in this pay-per-view. I thought 
For a long time, I thought we were going to see Goldust versus Cody Rhodes SummerSlam. I thought it was they were setting it up for SummerSlam, and for whatever reason, it never happened. So I, that's my only. Um, also, I'm upset about not seeing Triple H versus Roman um, Reigns. I thought we were going to see that match, but maybe we'll see that match um, in Night Champions. But SummerSlam, I think they did a good job. I think this is going to be easily the best pay per view of the year, and I think, I'm hoping for every match here is going to be good. That's, that's the goal. They don't have to be all great, but every match is at least like enjoyable. And then the main event like really delivers. Then we're gonna have a it's, summer's definitely gonna be a pay-per-view of the year. Uh, I'm so excited about it. Really, everybody here like um, I'm excited to see everybody bring their A game. I think they will. Should be a good good night. Thanks for watching. I'll have my review of SummerSlam Monday. Hope. All right, bye.